Welcome, Tina, to your massage. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm good. You're good? I know you've been a little stressed out because of the intensive practicums these past weeks, right? Yeah, I've been stressed. Yeah. Well, I guess it's the perfect midweek break to kind of just relax and let go of any anxiety or worries that we may feel about upcoming exams or whether or not we know as much as we need to know. I mean, I find that at the end of the day, things always work out. Yeah. But in the moment, it can be really difficult for sure. I want to start this off by applying a little bit of peppermint halo. I find that peppermint halo has a really nice tingling sensation. I'm just going to apply a little bit up here, not too much. Because I know you can be quite sensitive. And then a little bit on the neck and traps. And this will kind of help us ground into the massage. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Then I wanted to ask you do you prefer cream or butter when it comes to your massage? Cream. Cream? Okay. I'll just check. I keep forgetting which one's which. This one's the cream. This is made by my friend Janessa. She makes these creams with really high quality natural ingredients. So you can be sure that anything that's going on your skin is um, not going to be causing any harm to your body. So just starting with kneading the traps, which can get really tense when you're stressed. We tend to accumulate a lot of our stress here, especially if we're not using the best posture. May I borrow your hair tie? I'm going to tie up your hair while we work on the massage. And your hair is really silky smooth. So beautiful. You can feel that like your sternocleidomastoid muscles are pretty tight in the front mm -hmm. and like your scalenes a little bit. So you can work on those in a bit too. Just 
just kind of picking it up and scooping it. I want you to take a deep breath in and out. And we're just gonna let all of that stress go. Just let it move into the ground, back into Mother Earth. She knows how to handle it. And we're gonna take one more deep breath. And exhale. You can probably smell the, the peppermint as well. I'm going to work on um, the back of your neck. So what I'm going to do is just support your forehead. So you can kind of lean into my hand. Yeah, like that. And just kneading this muscle here. Let me know if I'm using too much pressure or if you want more pressure. Okay. And then just kind of using a bit of finger kneading, just moving down the upper traps towards the heart. Allowing any waste to circulate back to the heart. I'm going to actually use um, my elbow to apply a little bit more pressure. Not too much, especially not um, on the bone. quite a large knot right here so I'm going to use a tool and just kind of work into just using a circular motion You can see that your skin is starting to get a bit red, which is good. It means there's more blood coming to the surface, helping to repair any um, tears and relax any adhesions.
and then again a circular motion. And then just kind of running down your arm. Letting all that excess tension go. Now let's work just on the interior, sort of interior lateral area of the neck. I'm going to be very, very gentle. I want you to actually just sort of relax your head like that. Perfect. And just using some fingertip kneading, working down. So kind of the scalene area right now. And you can just relax your head just like that, good. Just And then doing a bit of reflex stroking, just kind of ending off this shoulder and neck massage. I realize that I kind of forgot the upper back of it, so I'm just going to work on the rhomboids and, and traps here. It's gonna kind of help to loosen them up a bit. And then on either side of the spine, just working all the way down. Okay. How are you feeling? Okay, no problem. So now let's move on to the scalp. Just gonna remove this. So now we're going to be doing the scalp check, and this part is really tingly, really relaxing. So I want you to just relax into it. So just using these knitting needles. People say that this kind of looks like I'm you putting chopsticks on your head, like I'm about to eat your hair or something. <laughs> so let's start just at this this part here. And basically I'm just looking for any signs of dryness any patches, like scaly patches, any oiliness. any erythema or hyper or hypopigmentation. And 
And I'm also looking for any nephi, especially ones that might be suspicious. Far looks really healthy. Kind of like a lice check back in elementary school. I always enjoyed it when my mom would do it on me. Like, <laughs> when she's like, all done, I'm like, oh, can you check one more time? <laughs> There's a little bit of dryness here. Now that I've met, completely messed it up, I'm just going to brush out your hair, okay? Would you be interested in a hairstyle today? Sure. <laughs> what kind of hairstyle would you like? I think last time for Angelica, I did like um, one braid on each side like this and it went back like that. It was really pretty. Mm -hmm. And then for my sister, um, I just did like a French braid that went down. Mm -hmm. But I can also do like one braid on this side and one braid on the other side, kind of thing. Sure. <laughs> what would you like? Anything's fine. Anything's fine? Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do the same hairstyle that I did on Angelica because I thought it was really pretty. And I think because like, your hair is so long and beautiful, it'll be a really nice one too. Okay. 
Have you ever dyed your hair, by the way? Mm, just the end. Yeah, I noticed it's a little yeah. bit lighter on the... Okay, now we're going to do the lovely hairstyle. Um, let me start on this side. I'm just going to do a little bit of a French braid, but like a small one, and bring it all the way back, and then do the same thing on this side. So you can just relax. My little cousins, every time I go see them, they're always like, Samita, can you do, can you braid our hair? Like, I want to do this hairstyle and that hairstyle. And then I end up doing their hair and then my sister's hair and like both of them. It's so much fun. And sometimes we watch like an ASMR video, like one of It Splits's um, ASMR videos while we braid while I braid their hair and then they try to braid my hair but it's like not very long so it doesn't really work that well but yeah they're so cute they've grown so much though okay this is really pretty Do you ever braid your hair, Tina? Yeah, really. You should, it looks so good on you. Maybe you can ask your mom to help. Or your dad. I don't know if you would. I don't usually do anything. Yeah. I mean, you look really good without doing anything. Sometimes it's fun to spice things up a little bit. Okay. Oh, I, I think I lost track. I think it's like this. Yeah, it should be like this. So now I'm going to stop French braiding and just braid the rest of the hair. Let's do it on this side.
And just kind of finish off the braid. Even just like leave it like this instead of instead of like bring it because I think with Angelica I did this which is pretty but I think like this is even prettier it's kind of like leaving it as like two braids so nice oh, I'm just gonna um, pull out these side braids like your hairstyle. Oh, how do you want it? Do you want it like more like like this or like okay. Alright. No worries. Thanks for letting me play with your hair. <laughs> okay. So for this portion we're gonna do some more like um, spiritual cleansing and just sort of a little bit of spiritual guidance because I know that you're interested in that. We're going to start off with just cleansing your aura. We're going to use the Sage Stress Release Mist. I want you to close your eyes, okay? okay. You can just breathe that in. So the stress release mist has Roman chamomile, lavender, and vetiver. So it's it's very good for calming down the mind and just kind of relaxing your nervous system. Um, and now let's draw a card for you or a few cards. I'm going to be using this Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards. And I'm still kind of getting used to this set here, this 
set of cards. They're really beautiful and they have really nice messages. So I hope it speaks to you. So I'm just going to start with kind of um, setting the intention that these cards can help to guide you in your life right now, whether it's career or whatever it is. Um, in fact, actually, is there anything in particular that you would like some guidance for in your life? In general? Okay, so just a general message. Okay. So I'm just going to shuffle it, asking for a general message of guidance for Tina to help her on this journey called life at this moment. My cousin Adia is a lot better at this. Tarot card readings and stuff. I'm just kind of a newbie, but I find that this deck actually, um, it really has helped me a lot. So. Okay. I want you to draw a card that speaks to you. Or if you want to draw more than one, that's totally okay too. Do you want to try one more or just the one? Okay, Tina, so you drew the air guardian first and then the shaman. So you can hold on to these cards. Um, I'm just going to read out the air guardian first. So the air guardian tells you to change the way you think and you will change your whole reality. The air guardian card represents the angels of the air element. Traditionally, air is all about thoughts, thinking, and everything that's happening in the mind. So these angels can help you to overcome any thoughts that you have come back, that have come back to haunt you from the past, and to see the world more clearly. They are guiding you to change the way you think about certain situations, as this could be standing between you and greatness. When this card arises, it's an opportunity to learn about your way of thinking. You are being guided to recognize that not all you see is exactly the way you see it. Sometimes the mind can play games and sometimes our perceptions can be wrong. If you are being challenged or feel that there's a lack of clarity and direction in your life at the moment, there's a good chance the way you're thinking or what you're focusing on has a lot to do with that reality. You are being guided to open your eyes and your mind Go beyond any limits you have set for yourself and recognize that the way you see the world is how you will experience the world. Opportunities are moving in your direction, but they will only open for you if you are ready to do the internal work to support them. Yeah. I don't know if that speaks to you at all. Thank you. And the shaman. It says to trust in your angels, guides, and ancestors. If you have given your power away, claim it back. On the inner planes, all of the shamans of times gone by are helping the human race to understand the complexities of life and the needs of Mother Earth. Many are working as spiritual guides to light workers and light warriors. The shaman card brings the energy of your shaman guides to you. Shamans believe that when there was illness or disease, it was because a person's
had been left behind somewhere or a negative pattern had installed itself in them. In trance, they would travel to the underworld to recall this power and remove the demon. If this card comes to you, it's because you need to do some release work and with lower energies or with your lack of trust in the spiritual energies that are guiding you. The shaman will aid you in your quest. There are spiritual allies working in your favor and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust. So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Hand over all your concerns to your spiritual allies. When you do so, you allow them to send you intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to correct the situation and come out on top. The shaman card also shows that you have shamanic potential to move between the realms and connect with your guides in an extremely personal way. What do you think? That was very helpful. Yeah. I think it's interesting that you got the shaman because like traditionally it's a healer and then you're also a naturopathic medical student and then with the air guardian you were saying remember that like you weren't really sure like where to go in terms of like your career path so I don't know I'm just kind of like I don't really know it's it's up to what it speaks to you but like yeah I thought that was interesting Welcome. Yeah. So that's the end of this massage slash hair braiding slash little bit of spiritual work. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that it helps to take away some of your worries and anxieties so that you can have a lovely rest of the week. I know it's really difficult with practicums but um, I'm here for you and we'll support each other. Mm -hmm. We got this. Yeah, me too. Okay. Take care.